Hey guys, I'm back with another Dark Souls 3 Invasion video. This time I'm just going to be using the same build as my uh, Dark Magician build, although today I feel like I mostly use the Onyx Blade. Uh, one small tip I want to give you guys is don't be afraid to use the environment of the map since it's pretty hard to win a 1v2 or a 1v3 or a 1v4, you know? So you are technically uh, the game's like PvP version of the enemy. You know, you're supposed to defend the area. Um, so don't be afraid to use the stuff in the area to help yourself kill the host. I got a lot of examples coming up. So thanks for watching. So while we're talking about using the environment, don't forget that the environment can hurt you in some cases. A lot of AoE attacks, like this crab's uh, smash down with his claw, hurts everybody regardless of whose team they're on. That and the catapult and catacombs, so just watch out. Alright, Mr. Smo with no armor. You don't look so scary. Oh my god. The catapult killed this guy, dude. Actually hit him like four times in a row. Also, one more small tip. If you get seeded by the host, just know that seeds only last 45 seconds and the host can at most use three. And even if you do get seeded, it's not like the enemies will prioritize you. They'll prioritize whoever's closest. So you can kind of lure the enemies back into the host as well as long as you uh, roll during the right times. Yeah, seeds aren't uh, the end all for invaders. Fight, sir. Yeah, so you just saw an example of me using skeletons in the environment to kind of <laughs> kill the host and his fan in 1v2. I'd say that's alright, because, you know, that's your job as an invader, just to kill them. If you wanted just to do duels, you could just go to the arena. So here's a sick backstab. Featuring dogs that are distracting the enemy. Yeah, there you go. Thanks, guys. Boys. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, I went down. I see the campfire on the other side. Alright, kill one. One me. I also recommend you practice some parkour things like jumping over these cracks. Oh, I'm gonna chase him until he falls down into the lava and he'll die. Very good. <laughs> very good, very good. So basilisks are pretty powerful for invaders. You can sit in the curse smoke and not take any damage. Right here I kill a guy just from him taking the curse build up from fighting inside. His left arm. Not like. His yeah. Oh, his. Uh, your point of view, his uh, left arm. Okay, so his right arm. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. So, this is just a funny clip I decided to include in this video. Basically, uh, I killed this phantom and he got resummoned two more times before I could take out the host. I also had to do a lot of running around the map because I couldn't find the host, you know? I went. I, I cleared pretty much the entire uh, cathedral area once or twice before I found him. Phantom. Aha, uh -huh, and I finally found them. So yeah, uh, I just want to make this a shorter video instead of the usual eight or nine minutes. Just some of the good clips from invading. And like I said before, I really think invading is one of the more fun things to do in this game after you've cleared the game a few times. Let me know if there's any other formatting or things that might uh, interest you guys for videos. Also, I'm really interested in um, cool new builds. I have five characters around level 60 range of different classes, just in case uh, the build requires specific stat points. So, I mean, if you, if you think there's anything cool that I should try, I'd love to hear about it. And as always, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and like if you enjoyed this video.